on the road to get all my mons to level 56. You're getting there, Brandon. You're getting there. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. So we're going up here. I don't, I remember it was like, oh, you should probably fly down there from like the top of that structure. And I was just like, hey, let me just, you know, fly everywhere else but there. <laughs> I think I went up there briefly for, like, an unknown, maybe. Oop, that's the dive button. Air warning, still getting used to it. I keep thinking that thing's shiny. I don't know what the shiny one of that looks like, but I keep thinking it's shiny. Okay, can I... Like, perch on top of one of these... And get my way up there, or am I have to climb all the way up a mountain again? Oop, there we go. So, okay. That name, Crunchy Salt, can I have a moment? What is salt if not crunchy? Is there soft salt? I'm just gonna put that out there. I've, I've been thinking about it ever since I saw that that was an item name. Okay, what's this? Hey, Emery, it's good. How are you doing this morning? Your arc phone is beeping. God, just slid into my DMs. It's powdered. But if you were to take that powder and just shove a whole bunch of it in your mouth and then chew, but it's still not technically crunch. I'm overthinking this. <laughs> red eyes and a light, slight bluish overlay. I gave it a four out of five on the list purely because I like the red eyes. <laughs> Like the shaker thing, yeah. It's like icing sugar. I still say if you put it in your mouth, it would crunch. It's not very good for the first time in a few weeks. So I'm doing great, I'm glad to hear it. Obtain a piece of uh, a turtle ice. Is it super fine powder? Okay, one day I need to find this, this powdered salt. Why? Oh, this man. He lost his nipples in the cold. Don't judge him too hard, okay? At last, the summit is conquered. And I see you made it too. Go down to this place and obtain the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? I, th I think rock salt makes sense, yeah. <laughs> or while he was. Yeah, while he was making the clan side. <laughs> I do have respect for the effort you've put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord, Avalug. Uh, meet me at the Ice Peak Arena. So, okay. I haven't really heard about this one. Is this one really annoying? Or is this one kind of okay? Important question, yes. I hate when I lose my nipples in the cold because the Antic want me to go outside in the Icelands to catch a Pidgey. <laughs> How do you call chess hair? Do you have slang for it? Just chest hair. I don't think I have any slang for that. What would you call it? You don't like this one, Mendelin? <laughs> totally, like, this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine and no nipples. Can't have nipples. Till we next meet. Shaggy? The only Shaggy I know is Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. You can't say this word in the- Oh, I think because- Shag- Okay. I mean, I have a shag carpet. <laughs> Is that a bad time to say that? I don't know why I put a thing there. I didn't need a thing there. I'm big nude. Mentally, you- You got ahead of me. I'm not actually that surprised about that, to be honest. <laughs> Been taking my time. It's challenging at the five. Avalog is alright when you realize the dodging leads to getting hit. Look at you going. I'm so happy that you're really getting into it. Not as a pain as Electrode. Okay. Why if it isn't Crystal? 
but a pleasure finding a familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to br uh, bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. What do you say, interested in a bit of gossip? Um, I like tea. Should I mean something else? Yes, I know. <laughs> to level up and change my team because I got my uh, ass handed to me by what's-his-face. Um, I still think I should probably change out my team, but at this point it's like, is it too late? <laughs> it means less sex. <laughs> uh, and why wouldn't you be? So Avalog, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take home? What's more, uh, apparently Evlog of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? <laughs> we'll see. Um... Uh, like, it'll be all right. You have to eat some sword. You just have to eat some sword caps, then give your training for all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward now to the arena. Wait. Oh, we need to get rid of that press salute on the bot command, you guys. <laughs> we don't have that emote anymore. Maybe you do press Angi instead. Uh, I did see, uh, sorry, I did want to see Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Okay. Uh, let's... Water... Hi! Dear Lord... Can I help you? Do you want to be caught? Did I just make a new friend? Catch him. And if I don't catch him, I'm just gonna run. No, we're out. Oh, ooh, hoo, hoo. hi. I said boy for two seconds. What is chat? Pendulin said the thing. <laughs> No, we were missing some emotes. See, I figure I've done a good job if you can figure out which ones we're missing. <laughs> Is he still after me? No, we good. We good. Rosie, enjoy that lurk, girl. So we were to quell uh, Avalug as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Oh, well, I suppose I get bet to better get better get to work. So that doesn't sound right to me. I'm making some bombs and using the turtle ice. I've heard how they're made, and with this muscle like mine, it'll only be a moment's work. We're gonna find all the ways soon. Yeah, we only have a couple left. I get something like nine, I believe, maybe a bit more. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. Need unrivaled dodging ability. Alrighty. Let's do it. Took you forever? Yeah. We found a good number yesterday, but we were mainly focusing on that though. Oh, hi! Yeah. Random, you, you undo that band right now. Wait. Am I... just on this platform? Lock 
not going to him. Oof. Okay. We have not made a dent in him. This is a lot. Yeah, it seems like dodge rolls give you those sweet, sweet iframes. So. You're looking so I don't spell a lot for myself. But have a wonderful stream, Flautista. Thank you. I hope that you have a good day. I had to use a guide, yeah. Too much to take out. Ooh, ouch. Okay. We're nearly there, though. We'll be fine. Yeah, so you're like st caught in a stun lock. Okay. It's a good thing they give you unlimited. Oh, nope. That was my bad. I'm just gonna take this nice and easy. Okay, so this is what got me last time, so we're just gonna keep dodging. There we go. And then... How was that? If you like that... Oh, I dodged right into it. Oh. Let me, let me up, let me up. I think I did it too late, no. Heck. Here we go. Oh, sorry. We're probably gonna have to do one of those continues here, but that's okay. <laughs> Second too late on that one. That's okay though. I was pretty happy about that. Ooh, everything went black. I was doing pretty decent. There we go. I asked this question again. I ask it, I feel like, every time. Has anyone in here ever actually... Um... Just tried it from the beginning instead of just continuing? Doing multiple at once, I saw that. Oh, was Fi Fi doing it? Okay. That's a slightly different move. That was my fault. Oh, that was entirely my fault. I got antsy. Okay. There we go. Do not continue, so I always restart it from the beginning. Oh no! Yeah, I'm glad that I could do that. Not this time, we did on Arcanine though. Yeah. <laughs> So you want to start over? Yeah. No, Arcanine had some some pretty tough bits there. Oops, wrong way. Oh, I was 
could have just dodged away. <laughs> Evil. Oh, good job. Look, like I'm saying good job to myself. I'm just trying to keep up my own morale. <laughs> I dodged a little bit too early. <laughs> Such a hard time. So from the beginning, I learned after I beat it that I could have continued. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. We're nearly there. We are nearly there. Okay. so bad them didn't really find them fun i think i was fine on the first fight i think it was like the second one onwards that i was just like make that continue <laughs> this is the only one i've died multiple times on though which is kind of oh heck i was in the wall oh bad times We're nearly there buddy Evil. I dodge wolf right into it. And there he goes. Really? Oh. <laughs> that happened at the same time. Want me a hold tater? Okay. Come on down, bud. Hopefully I can get him back in his perch later. <laughs> I'm gonna put him on my shoulder. So we can still play. Any Pokemon feature during these after they introduced I only ever use the bombs. <laughs> Garrick, sir, you didn't look quite so downcast. But seeing mighty Avalon quelled and by such a slight child. Child that fell from the very sky. Gosh darn it. Is this Crystal Girl some kind of monster in disguise? She's no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Did you know that you fell from the sky? Crystal. Garrett cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Snow just as deeply. So you fear more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida? I know your fears will change once you see that what I've seen. Crystal has much to teach us. She's shown us how to, we can overcome all manner of strife, so long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. Seems you've already changed, Irida. I know you could pull that off, Crystal. You called every last frenzied noble. So is that space-time rift going to start closing up now, or what? There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Crystal. Indeed, we should be. Uh, it's good to have her at our side. You know something, Irida? I never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. I ship it. I ship it. <laughs> Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've called the last noble, 
I say we play or pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Okay. Um. Cool. So that is that. I kind of want to go see what this quest is. <clears throat> Been a good place. Evolution level up grinding in Legends. I've been using the Alabaster Isons, but I'm not sure if there's a better place. To be honest, I'm not too sure myself. Does anyone have any ideas? Oh, is this the balloon race? There's no better way to stave off the cold than run around and burst balloons. <laughs> okay. It versus made with my- oh wait, is this gonna be flying? Ugh. This is gonna be a really bad time. I'll give it a try though. Let's see, nice are good XP sources, especially if one happens to be an alpha. Yes. That sounds like a good place to me. If you balloons on the course, let's see how many of them you can burst in two minutes. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Or maybe I change over to the bird? Why is the camera doing this? Oh god. Yep, no, it wants me to change. Okay. You wanna end your run? No. I didn't. Thanks so. though. There we go. I guess I could have just done sneezer. See, I was fine with the first couple, but after that I'm not really that fond of these. Oh, heck. <laughs> I'm not even gonna- we're just gonna go as slow as we heckin' can. Screw this place. Oh, well. I'm like slowly getting lower. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this is going so badly. No one watch this. Just... Can't stand the camera. Yeah, the camera's pretty. I see balloons over there, so I'm gonna go that way. No one, just don't judge what is happening on screen right now. Just don't even. I got as many as I did, to be honest. This has been bad. Okay. There we go. I, mean, I almost got to 30, considering how bad I was doing. <laughs> Does that mean the quest is still here? Thank you. It does kind of remind me of, like, a party game music, yeah. Is the quest still there? Yeah, okay. We'll respectfully come back. Um, there's this parcel to get up here and then we'll head back. Somewhere. There we go. Also, thank you to whoever got my, uh, my satchel yesterday. I think it was someone named Haley. I don't know if that's any of you guys. Um, but I did see that someone got my stuff back this morning, which is really nice. The Haley from Star Trek. Oh dear. There we go. Okay, let's head back. I'm interested to see what happens now. I, I have not seen this. I don't know exactly what we're getting into. I'm hyped. Uh, 
Um, okay. I think we need to start making some decisions, you guys. Because I do believe we're heading into, like, you know... Ending stuff here. Maybe? I don't really know. I have a lot of unknowns I need to put away. <laughs> um, I wanted this mainly shiny team, and I know that I need a water type. So, we, <laughs> we don't really have a lot of options. Um, what do you guys think we should do? Or actually, do you guys have any type recommendations without spoiling too much? for endgame is there any typings that i prob probably should um look into using maybe it's just normal fish <laughs> and butterfish um we pretty much have like three choices in here unfortunately maybe the gyarados gyarados is from pepper it would be fish so Um, I really enjoy, um, it's a beast in the main games. <laughs> I do enjoy having, um, Fart with us as well, but it's also, like, I feel like I don't use Fart <laughs> very often. Um, unfortunately, I may as well just keep it, I feel like, at this point, but I really don't use it very often. Um, I'm more likely to use, like, any of the others, almost. Terra as well, to a certain degree. Gyarados or Toxicroak. So poison fighting or water flying. That would be a duplicate water flying. Um, do you guys want to do a poll, maybe? Decide which one you like? I would like to keep it with the shinies just because we have a theme. <laughs> uh, let's do... Who be our last team member? I'm so sorry if I mispronounced one of these. Or misspelled, sorry. What a fart. Time for a tooting uprise. <laughs> uh, there we go. So type 1 in chat for Gyarados, 2 in chat for, um, uh, Toxicroak or Krogunk. Sorry, I forgot. I just- someone said Toxicroak in chat. <laughs> Rise like the gas. <laughs> also, I'm gonna have Tater back in his spot here. My shoulder gets a little bit tense, unfortunately. Or else I would have him with me all the time. There we go. Back in the shower, Rosie, how was it? And why didn't you invite me? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Someone bonk me, please. Uh, hi, Queen Claire. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. Everything clean, even the booty. <laughs> Thank you for the bonk. Back had to do a few things. Welcome back. Okay, so you guys are saying Tossy Croak, it looks like. I'm indifferent between the two, to be honest. I like both of them. I think they both have cool names, cool typings. I've never- I don't really use fighting and I don't really use poison, so I- what is it good against? <laughs> Someone give me the, the rundown. Hi, Shorty Nightmare, how are you doing? And Mr. Wonderful as well, welcome on in, you guys. Um, if you guys are just joining us, we just quelled the final, or it seems like the final noble? Um, and, uh, that's pretty much all we've done so far. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. <laughs> um, you know what we need? Fairy, rock, steel, dark, ice, normal, and grass. Okay, let me, like, copy down this. Thank you so much. I'm, like, literally gonna have a notepad open. <laughs> you know what we need, chat? Or, I guess, random. Um, 
I feel like we need, like, a type chart built into the bot so I can be like, see, but then again, there's so many combinations. It'd be a lot of work. If I was to type poison fighting, it would give me the strong and weakness for that specific typing. But like, because there's the dual typings, it would take so much, I'm assuming. I don't really know. Low-key Sneasler is better than Toxic I don't got one of them shiny, though. I don't got one of them shiny, unfortunately. Does uh, Korka need anything special to evolve? That's going to be my next question. Also, you guys are... You guys have voted. Thank you so very much for that. I do appreciate it. So Yzma is on the team. That would be easier, to be fair, Rosie. That would be easier. Okay. I'm still nervous for the Elite Four. You got it, Brandon. I've been saying you got it for like a couple, like a week now, but you got it. <laughs> I promise you do. You'll, you'll get it. I must have been around that level when I beat it. Also, I have like one strand of hair that's coming off. I imagine that type chart could be possible, maybe? I feel like... It would be a thing of getting it to be like, okay, you know, fire is good against these and weak against these, but then also thinking about the dual typing. If I was to type fire... Uh, dark, for example, <laughs> you know. Um, that it would recognize you want, you know, both. My Oh, yeah, no, we're gonna be, uh, taking Krogonk and, uh... Grinding. <laughs> so, where where can I find those those Blissies? In, uh, the Alabaster Wastelands? Thing it would be complicated for you to figure out what is neutral, yeah, with the double typing, yeah. That's what I was thinking, too. Let me add Rogonk. Bear with me, it's gonna appear pretty big on screen. Um, I remember catching this thing. Didn't think we'd actually use it. Oh, okay. I have to scroll through the list of Shawnees, fair warning. They're not, like, named, so I can't just, like, search. there, I think. Um, somewhere in here. There it is. There we go. He's most the baby. An un oh, jeez. There's a big octopus, a big flower, a small togepi, um, a Pokemon I mistook for a haystack, and an unknown, and an Eevee. So cute. But yeah, let me... Can I get to where the Blissies are right now? In, um... Do, like, do they have a set spawn location? I'm guessing? Maybe? In, um... In the last area, or should I just go somewhere else? Because I know where to find an Alpha Chansey. Like, guaranteed. <laughs> um, and we could just, like, catch it or take that thing out, maybe? Also, do a save here, too. <laughs> just because we've done a lot. Oh, and put away all of our stuff. Uh, maybe see if we can't craft some more. Uh, two while we're here. Oh, 
Okay. Um. Pretty much need. As many of those as I can get my hands on. Um, maybe some more of these though. There we go. Okay, now we are happy. Now we're in business. Did you used to have all this in here? Well, that's a really low texture. <laughs> I really like how the um, the town expands. Oh, sorry, I was dodge rolling. Um, there's a Gumi, but it's not where we're going. I already have a Gumi anyway, I guess technically. I was a way to have a type chart. I'll science that at some point to see if it works. No pressure, no rush at all. But I just thought it'd be kind of cool. Because I know I'm not the only one who forgets my typings, but low-key, I <laughs> probably forget them the most. Okay, so it's usually right there. Um, I don't know what level it is. But I know that I got a lot for catching it last time. <laughs> You didn't see that. Oh, you saw that. All right. Hi. Why are you not? Oh God. Oh God. Are you noticing me now or no? I can't. Did you really not see me? I was running right past you. Into the gen six or gen six gym theme, yes. I didn't mean to toss that. <laughs> I let go. It'd be nice if it actually caught. Oblivious to people who fell from the sky. There you go. It's like the only thing that doesn't seem to care that we fell from the sky, actually. Turn around, cutie. Turn the big booty around. Thank you. This probably won't work. Never mind. Okay, so that was four, give or take, I think that said 4,000 experience for Yzma. This is gonna take a while. Um, don't really have a lot of options, do we? Oh, someone dropped a satchel right where the camp is? <gasps> oh, I might have the rare candies, actually. You know what? I never used any. So I probably have plenty. Maybe. Theoretically. Where'd this person die? Oh, it's down! I'm silly, don't mind me. I, for some reason I saw the flag and I'm like, that's at the camp! It's not. It's heckin' not at the camp. That's just me being dumb. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I... can just... boost its levels this way. Is there a way to combine the smaller ones into bigger rare candies in this game, or no? So let's see, from the X-Elves, forget. Don't think so? Okay. It, it, it didn't tell me how much I got, but I got a lot. <laughs> oh, we can evolve now. There we go. That was a good idea, Brandon. Thank you. All right, let's do it. 
We had that picture for all of about two seconds, but that's fine. It's fine. I'll just, you know, find another one. Oh, you... He has some interesting colors. I... How do we feel about this? <laughs> how do we feel about this one? Did I saved up Rare Girl Candies and use on the rest of my team? It's a really good idea. <laughs> uh, did not mean to do a roll there. Yeah, I'm... Oh, I can just mass use them. Never mind. We're good. Uh, and then we got a... Let's just use up the small ones, I guess. It's like nerds candy. <laughs> I can see that. There we go. So now you're you're on par. I'm not even going to bother using the other ones. <laughs> It's okay, but given that there are many colors of poison dart frogs, it's a bit underwhelming. Yeah. I can see that. Why are there... why are these not in my inventory? Um and that should be everything. Cool, let me do a save. Okay, I didn't even need to come out here, but I did, and I'm happy at it because we caught a chancy. Uh, let's go and get the satchel for whoever died over here. I'm guessing to the the dustmore that thing spawns, or to like any of these. Oh, this is Ava again. <laughs> oh, jeez! Now suddenly there's a lot. I see GG. Do I recognize anyone else in here? I don't know if I recognize anyone else right off the bat. Uh, and then we got this one. There we go. You got this, Brandon. Do it. And even if you don't, like if you can get through a few of them, you'll earn probably enough money that it won't really matter. Or lie. But when she's vertical, or stand. <laughs> Well, I shouldn't have laughed at that. That's just encouraging. Why did I laugh? So this is why I don't usually like fly fast most of the time because you come down so quickly. <laughs> Pepper, I know I'm encouraging. I'm sorry. Hi, Mystic, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Okay, save. And, um, go back in. If you guys are joining us for today, we are, um, finished with the last, I keep saying last because I don't really trust this game. Uh, we're finished with the last um, noble, we just quelled it, and we're about to head in and talk to uh, Kamado. And that's pretty much it. I have no idea what happens. She walks, Laura go, and she waits, Laura stay. <laughs> it's now Sandrew Community Day in my time zone. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um. A mysterious box, unusual shoes. Okay, let's buy these. Upgrade and uh, unusual shoes. Your choice, all yours. Then you've got a good eye for quality, that's for sure. Choose these or choose these seams. Seems these shoes will fit you just right too. I think you'll be a great match for your style. 
and an Ultra Ball set. Time for Sandra Committee to have a paper due tomorrow morning. Vincent, I really hope it goes well. Were the shoes not another Rotom thing? What were the shoes? Hmm. Mystic, which new game is that? I'm glad that you're, uh... Oh, all night. <laughs> I'm glad that you're enjoying it, though. Neverwinter Nights. This one sounds familiar again to me. Have we talked about it, or did I just hear about it elsewhere, maybe? Do you see side quests? We'll grab that after. We're gonna have so many side quests left to do. Okay, yeah. Each of the Pokémon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would have uh, would be restored by to Hisui by the hands of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself with the wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisu without fearing the Pokémon around us. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of potato mochi, Benny, old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. And how the Avalog's quell too, we can sur uh, survey all over Hisui. Certainly I had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of havoc the frenzied nobles could have wreaked if Crystal never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Crystal be stuck here? Uh, I guess so. A nap, but I want to keep playing. Oh, you'll probably enjoy it more if you're well rested, though. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Crystal. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on nothing less than a completed Pokedex. With you around, that Pokedex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I just tag along as your assistant? Assistant, come now, Ray. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, for a uh, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Just want to point out, you never see anyone else eating out here, I don't think. <laughs> An evil wizard. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I usually... Uh-oh. Disaster looming. Fun. Go outside and see what's happening. Okay. I know, mentally, right? <laughs> Oh. This doesn't look good, Crystal. Be when I need the toilet. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I have a word from the commander. 
You're to report to his office at once. Okay. The way the sky has changed, it's ominous, very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There's a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night the crystal fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really? Honestly, I'm just a potato. Indeed. Came from the rift, as did the light, and you're connected to those frenzies, are you not? Did you think to or did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Crystal has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think she's got the sort of fearsome power it takes to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that she's free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee uh, she is who she says? Who here can guarantee she's to be trusted? But that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Crystal supposed to do then? She'll be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of the Galaxy team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. I'm getting very much Ace Attorney vibes right now. <laughs> there are those in the village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy team. Set yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Selene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Crystal? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you've displayed. So I've chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Rude. I like how he's like, yeah, there's some people who can't trust someone who fell from the sky. It's literally just him. It's honestly just him. You're to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders are orders. Let's go. This way. Oh, I'm moving. Alrighty, let's go. Walk a shave! Not the. Anyway, I <laughs> want to comment on that. I, I bought your nice clothes. I actually kind of want to change. I should have done that before this. This will get the stuff for them, but like they're not. Watch that. Get out. That's pretty much it. We can take it from here, ma'am. Like that Mr. Mime over there. <laughs> Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept the stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It's only right that I should personally escort her from the village and into the Fieldlands camp. I'll come too. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. We'll form our own village with Blackjack and, <laughs> and Looker. <laughs> Random. Uh, then I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. Sinda, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Gamer Girl, hello, how are you doing? It's a blobfish, that's exactly what it feels like. I 
can't believe the boss would do this. You quelled all those nobles' frenzy to under his or under his own orders. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You only cause Crystal more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been to the aid of both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Admin or Irida might take you in? But I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. Bet you could at least start by finding Leon at the Grand Tree Arena. Not sure where it might be if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone out there, that's an order. I'll ensure that you have all you need to complete the survey with com the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice. In this life, you'll meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. And that truly, all that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What is the dream I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? The dream simply won't come true without you. So I, okay. I'm gonna get satchels on the way. I have to get, um, oh wait, that's a cool detail. They took away my, like, my card thing. That's neat. Um, do I get the choice between who I go to, diamond or pearl? I'm just curious, like straight up yes or no answers, please. Talking about people that hurl abuse at Game Freak on Twitter. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is really interesting. I, I saw a Pokemon spawn. Are they? Oh, yeah, they're still spawning. This episode of Avatar Brand gets. Yeah. From the waterbender village, exactly, yeah. Trust me, Geodude, you do not want to fight me right now. Trust me. The music, too, though. I'm here for this. This is like, it feels like, you know. Proper. <laughs> she fell from the sky, get her. Hey. No, I really did fall from the sky. There we go. Oh no, Mystic, I'm sorry that you're not feeling that great. Okay, I'm just gonna go grab this and then we'll be on our way. just like you know Boop. <laughs> forgot about that I always forget that there's a fast travel point here you what in the world did you do look at the size of that rift if lightning starts pouring from it all the Pokemon in Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy the entire clan is in a panic now I should have known that the only thing that would come of this rift was disaster uh huh I mean, it doesn't seem like he really is going to- this feels awkward. Help? Oh well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but if- but it would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly do wish I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did, you must know that. But there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. Unless I can find Mai at the Warren Bridge, I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of a city, there's a place for you as well. 
Okay. Perfect. I was a bit worried about that. Um, I'm just gonna go grab these satchels and then we'll be on our way. Where are you people dying? <laughs> that seems like a weird thing to ask. Uh, is it the side axe that got you? Oh no, there we go. Lurk, enjoy your lurk. And Claire, good morning. How are you doing today? Side axe just ran right past me. Uh, There's the other one. Crystal, stop dying. <laughs> Get good. No. Uh, we're gonna hand that one in. Okay, uh, I think we'd be better off traveling to here and then flying down. Kim, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. I hope that you're having a great day. I am doing pretty good. I'm a little bit tired this morning. Time change is always weird. Snapchat video from my niece that made me smile. Oh, that's cute. That's lovely. Second favorite time of the year. I, uh, I'm just excited for, you know, uh, longer days, more sunshine. <laughs> Peacefully, my bed. That's what laptops are for. We're here for that. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? Uh, I'm trying to find out. Oh, you did it, Brandon! Nice! Uh, I suppose there's too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as everyone. Or anyone. The Great Weirdo took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but... Forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Not abandon hope. Time solves all things. Besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. I think it was a chicken. It was mad and decided to wreak havoc in the world. That's just the working theory, though. I'm here for this. It was definitely just a random, not even like a Pokemon. It was just a normal, everyday, standard chicken. Oh, hi! You're not attacking for once. They would usually attack you on sight. I'm just <laughs> why'd they choose that Pokemon for that cutscene? Small blue baby. I don't trust you. I do not trust you. I don't like this guy very much. Or them? I don't I don't know who they are. <laughs> Strange events seem to follow you wherever they or wherever you go, don't they? found you at last, Crystal. Been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Watch the skies, I'm gonna go up to the outcast who fell from the sky. <laughs> Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast in all the latest news. 
since you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. Say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry. There's still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that'll be the perfect hideaway. Leave it up to me. Sir, I don't buy anything. You just hand me things. <laughs> just like this dude following you, like the strange events. Yep. Weirdo. Here we are. I know, I know. It's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Where are we? Oh! Ooh! Ancient retreat. We're in an entirely different zone. This is cool. Okay. Shirking your work to come pastor me again, even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Miss uh, Kogida? Kogida? Am I saying that right? I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisui's myths and legends. No mistress, thank you. Just Kogida. Kogida, I can't. I'm gonna have trouble with that one. Uh, and this is? Why, Crystal is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Uh... Duty? I do I was legit worried this man was about to kidnap you? <laughs> Indeed, I'm to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing great disasters falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. Ha, <laughs> duty. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. How are you doing today? That is a nice bed. If that's a bed, I think it is. Uh, the space-time rift is said to be a portal to the innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. Uh... Which ones? <laughs> oh, how was Ikea? Do you get anything cool? The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse from all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here and now into the future, while space yawns all-encompassingly surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? You really can't. <laughs> He's be healed. Like, chaos is fun. That's how you end up with pirate chicken overlords. Also, I'm sorry. I think my brain is stuck on chickens. I'm here for it. <laughs> I need I need a picture of a pirate chicken overlord now. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known the other ages. Now listen, lost one. Here's what you must do. So he holds three lakes. Here we go. Great importance. Like Verity, like Valor, and like Acuity. At each dwells a Pokémon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set for you and bear their gifts to the Shrouded Ruins. There you may receive the Red Chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old worlds or words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I'm bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to the children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty. And you'll do it, won't you? Uh, yep. Sourced off from my calic shelf and some other small things and got to look at a dining table I might order. That's cool. There's nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Sorry, God's calling me. You can see the locations of the three lakes marked on your arc phone. Uh, Miss Cookie has got a lovely workbench here. If you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. Oh, uh, what about the pastures? Ah, uh, that is a problem, isn't it? What should we do about that indeed? Oh. What was that cry? Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. Uh, how can 
I refuse you, ma'am. Yeah, so we we did the uh, the last. I say last because I'm not sure. Uh, noble, um, and then Commodore's like, heck, get out. We don't like you anymore. Thanks for your help, but like, I don't trust you. Um, and now uh, Voldo's low key kidnapping us. You know, edited down sequence of events, but. Here's I got leftover cake. That sounds good. Hello, hello. It's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Crystal. Take a closer look at the letter. To Crystal, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence- Oh, is this, um... Is this Silene's? Every confidence in your ability as an adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Oh! Gamer Girl, thank you so much for the biddies. I do appreciate those. Thank you. Oh. The cheer box is a little bit out, but that's okay. <laughs> that happened to me getting kicked out. I was so mad, right? Uh, good tidings from the letter, then? Uh, that's right. Now then, so we're to visit three lakes. Doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It should be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. I ship it. I'll say it every time. <laughs> I've managed to reassure my people for now. The Wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we're to un undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help out, but without drawing attention, so it'll be just one of us. Me or her, it's up to you, though the answer should be obvious. I mean... They both waifu and husbando, but like, you know... Um... Chat. I'll let you choose. I will let you choose, but I know who I would choose personally. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, am I spelling his name right? Bear with, bear with. Uh. Oh yes. Wait. Bear with. Okay. Chat. Who are we gonna go with? Type one in chat for Adamant. Uh, two in chat for Irida. Diamond or Pearl? Just pick your favorite. We all know which one it is. <laughs> we do. <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> Both. I like them too. I like both of them, to be honest. I think they're both really fun, but I mean... We know I have a type. We all know it. <laughs> Three Volo- yeah, screw this guy. Screw him. I don't like him an inch. He's gonna like back- he'll backstab me, guarantee. Don't say anything, but he will. He will. <laughs> I don't like him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I moved the controller and it hit my thigh. <laughs> okay. All right, chat, you guys know where it's at. You guys know. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna go with our boy. Um, Adam and but when he was younger, I had a boy. <laughs> I like Adam and, but if Irda was a little less annoying, I would have picked her. I think they're both just adorable. Who was your choice? I mean... I mean... You know... Ed, listen, okay? I, I... In my head, when I read his voice, I give him the same voice as Axel in Reno. <laughs> I give him Quentin Flynn's voice, and I'm here for it. So, that's just me. Gotta choose the husband. <laughs> 
Obviously you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that celestica flute in the first place? That's right, this strapping young man. Uh, yeah, I choose you. <laughs> I choose you, Adamant. Me too, though, so true. There's no choice, there is only Adamant. Needs more red and you have Axel, exactly. But I like blue, so it works. Why have you not gotten Axel's... <clears throat> I I didn't think about it. <sighs> Sound alerts. Bear with me. I'll find one. I'll do it right now. <laughs> oh, I need to authorize my channel again. Hopefully it doesn't break anything. Oh, Claire, yeah. Library. Okay, do you have Axel? This might play through the speakers, I'm not sure. Oh, you don't even want to- oh, okay, 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 add the sound. Uh, how much are my current sound alerts? Did you say it ages ago? I completely was just like, yeah, you know, I'll do it at some point, but we all know I have the memory of a teaspoon. Oh, wait, no, not bits. Not bits. I'm gonna have to get rid of another channel point thing here, though, you guys. Add sound. Okay. Manage your current sounds. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you I'm not sorry at all. Popular I am. Did you guys hear that? Did it play through okay? Was it too loud? Can I turn it down for you? It's the first one I found. Do you know how popular I am? <laughs> Do you know how popular he is? It's the right voice. <laughs> Was that good? Was that okay? It let me add in an extra one. Why did it let me? I'll get rid of Bonk for now. There you go. Okay. We are... I want I got a memory. I didn't see that one, Pepper. I'll have to take another look. I just typed in Axel, and that's... Other than the crazy frog, that was all I was finding for our boy. <laughs> I can probably call, uh, get a sound clip for it myself later on, though. Yeah, Quentin Flynn is the voice actor. Thought so? You can count on me. Do you know how popular I am? <laughs> uh, so then leftover leader... Uh, will... Leftover? I'm not someone with scraps. Keep watch on the commander, I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Who did you guys choose for this, by the way? Uh, well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisui region's three great lights to visit first. Right, we better get a move on, no time to waste. Meet you wherever we decide to go, we'll be in hot water if we are seen traveling together. Count you on you to handle this, Adam, and don't cause Crystal any more trouble. Ship it. Shipping it, still- <clears throat> Oh, jeez, yep. Deadpool. Uh, Irida, because there's a bit more to do than just this. I mean, but Loki, there's another reason why I chose him too. So where are we headed? Um, let's go to let's go in order. Let's go in order. Okay. Also, Rosie, you said you had the link, but you can't share it, which is totally fine. Okay, I'm excited to finally get into these, because I've been pretty much wandering around them since the very beginning. But obviously we couldn't, you know, do anything with them. Oh, hi. I'm not here. <laughs> Want me to hold tater tot? Okay. 
got to unstrap his little bum. I dropped the pillow thing. Okay, buddy. One-handed. I say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water, and so Lake Verity was born. It's protected by a Pokemon called Mes Mesprit. Uh, it was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tale goes, anyway. Our phone is beeping. Cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that arc phone the professor was going on about? <laughs> Let's bop. I mean, God. <laughs> New flashlight feature. <laughs> Let's do this, Crystal. Uh, Mr. Kogita seems uh, quite intense that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to play one handed. <laughs> we must gently hold Tater Tot. Respectfully, gently. Something about this place I can't quite put to into words. Oh, hi! Missing Pokemon stands before you. Trouncing that thing, Crystal, proves the Pokemon of the lake how strong you are. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Tater, you can take this thing on. I'll just send out Tater. What typing are you again? Wait a minute. I thought it was steel. No. Are you po- wait. Definitely a Nokia trash. Dragon Steel! Dragon doesn't really care about fire, does it? Mm. We do have bulldoze. Uh, but the steel isn't such a great idea. Um, let's just uh, blame fighting in ground. Yeah, oh, well, actually, no, we do have our new baby. Wait, oh, I. Oh, I thought I hit the wrong button. We do got our new baby. I haven't even sent you out yet. I don't even... <laughs> I don't think your moves are that great. I should have gone over them. Let's see. First time in battle! First time in battle! <laughs> well... Okay. You know what? Let's just see, because, like, Torterra's kind of tanky, right? That was an entire thing <laughs> that just happened. We're probably not gonna move for- oh, wow! There we go. Good job, Terra. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh no, we good, we good. We good, we're fine! <laughs> Poor Yzma! Wait, are you meant to catch it? Oh. I already got one. Hey. That's the way, Crystal. I can tell by watching you that the Pokemon you've caught in those little... In those little balls truly understand one another. <laughs> you didn't catch it either? You can catch them if you want. Okay. At least I know for the next ones. Let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel mysterious presence. It's, it's, uh, Tater. Don't mind him. After I, I beat both my falls, I could catch them. Okay, I'm a little... You know what? Bear with me. I'm just gonna put Tater down for a second. Um, I should have bought the Max. Revives. Okay. He's my, he, that was a really bad start, but it's okay. These things happen. Is 
the best of the lake trio. I have to be honest, with the later Pokemon game legendaries, I, or mythicals or whatever you want to call them, I have zero preference. They're all just, you know, they're neat. <laughs> Ooh, your emotions share them with me. Uh, I mean, when something that could probably eat my face says share your emotions with me, I'd be like, yep, here you go. So it speaks from its mind straight into yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell to this land, what stirred you in your heart? Uh, surprised at how good this game was? Oh, Brandon, you're getting there. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Uh, excited. Like when I caught Chaos day one? What did you feel when you mingled with the Sui's clans? Uh, I like Adamant. <laughs> what did you feel when cast out of the galaxy team? Eh, a little bit bitter, a little bit, you know, snubbed. Love and wanting marriage. <laughs> Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. It says hello, how are you doing? Currently grinding the side mission. Such a great day for Pokemon. It's a really good day for Pokemon. I hope that you're enjoying it. Thank you so much for that five month resub as well. You obtained Mesprit's plume. Proof that you've completed the trial set by Mesprit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake of Verity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Can't even imagine what that must feel like having a Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, the world's full of mysteries, I guess. I can hardly even be surprised at things uh, like these after seeing the sky itself so warped. Now we've two lakes left to visit. Okay. Not me trying to remember where the other two are. <laughs> Thank Arceus, I say, before entering the room, I always safe, always. Looks like that worked out well, Crystal. Gotta admit, you sure know plenty about Hisui Volo. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happens in the past that led us this particular present. This particular pres- okay. I don't- mm. Mmm. Alright. I'm not gonna say more. Hi, Blue Hour. Um, uh, more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my past, so to speak. I think we'd all like some answers on that. I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. I've even got some questions about it. its true nature. Witty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mr. S uh, Kogita's home? Yeah, why not? Perfect, I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Oh, I like this loading scene. This is cute. Ah, uh, Miss Ritz Plumes, the legends told uh, told it true, then the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this all makes no sense to me. These Pokemon represent our minds, and they'll give us this thing, and it'll let us bind the world and solve all this mess, but how? Why? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, what, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I get it even less now. Such a miss, my child. Teaching us about the world in uh, their own incomprehensible ways. We are just to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world of which or in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. 
In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we'll get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound, how confident of success to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Mm, I don't know about that. I'm gonna put Tater down for now, you guys. I dropped the uh, thing I used to secure him, so I'll have to get that later. <laughs> Ransom. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Okay, um... So there's another one here, and then the last one's up here? Am I right? First three areas? I think. How's the West Hobbiton going? We're actually progressing story right now. Um, I guess right now might actually be a good time to see. Is it in the snowy place, really? Um, might be a good time to see the Wisp. I don't really know what time of day it is right now. <laughs> actually, I could just literally fly up here. Actually. Bear with me, I, I do want to get the sandwiches. <laughs> That's the wrong button. Yeah, nighttime definitely kind of reveals them. Hi, I'm not here. Oh, there's a two over there. Uh, where? Like, there's so many more <laughs> being added as I play. Um, alright. I have to wait for that thing to stop targeting me. Yeah, I think that Raichu is always there, actually. Um, just time for next week. Weekly sales. Just done, and I've eaten very nice pepper. Here you go. Done with unpacking and putting together IKEA stuff. Yes. I know that can sometimes take a little while. Do you know about Lake Valor? Said they've been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are also other theories that say it was carved out of the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon uh, Azelf. But Azelf took flight. The will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts. But that's what legends have, would have us believe. I think the nausea's gone? That's good. Cave appears where there was none, as if just for Crystal. In we go. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. Get to sick his work, and I don't know what to do uh, or what to make for lunch. It doesn't involve cooking because I can't wash my dishes. Oh no. Um, maybe a stretch. Oh, I guess no. I was going to say like plastic like or disposable di like dishes, but then you'd still need to clean up the pots and pans and stuff. Yeah, it might be like a sandwich sort of. Day. <laughs> Let's see what we're up against. Ooh! I don't think I've caught this yet. Menacing Pokemon waits before you. Watch it, Crystal. Heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills, they're venomous. Um, okay, let's do another save here. I kind of want to catch this one. Yeah, this is over Quill, isn't it? Well then. Just toss that through its head. I also can't get anyone out today because they're closed. Oh, on the weekend. True. 
Uh, oh, I sent out the very wrong Pokemon for this. Whoopsies. That was a bad move. Um, let's send out... And ground's pretty effective. Uh, I don't want to knock it out. Yeah, affection, that's what I was thinking too. He's my dear lord. You're having a bad time, aren't you? Uh, let's just gently rock smash it. It made a little bit too, too gentle, too gentle. Oh, here. Okay. How does it evolve? Oh, let's see. Ah. You need to use strong style bar barrage twenty times. Oh, I see. The champion didn't lose a single mod in that fight. Nice, Brandon. I knew you could do it. And we did this one too at the same time. <laughs> That's my crystal. The mysterious presence. chance in this game is Rhyhorn I always wanted to use Rhyhorn uh, show to me unyielding will strike me if you can oh did those bombs just appear out of nowhere I guess you're meant to throw them at Azelf Azelf's like feed me my favorite food please do I just oh I don't know if, like, I'm doing this right. <laughs> you happy? Seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? Oh, I'm... that's Ria? I'm doing it right. Okay. Keep trying to hit it with bombs. to hear a voice inside your head. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not done. Uh, Pepper, it would be nice. Thank you, yeah. There's a lot of reading today, a lot of cutscenes. I can't really pay too, too much attention. I am trying, though. Didn't wear the long jacket because so I want to check out his booty. <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Give up, you struggle in vain. Will you get press on? I'm not done yet. First time beating Fire Red Leaf right now. I only have one generation I haven't beat. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. One more to go. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Felt your presence. <laughs> oh, that's actually funny. I did have to hit it and I was like, well, I'm not getting past this. <laughs> I assume all went well, Crystal. 
still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? I guess I can think of two reasons. To keep the chain safe, and to test us. Perhaps you're right, who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands, after all. Though, having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What would- what use would some villain have for it? I can say for sure, maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. Could be well, right? So we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, shall we return? Uh, let's go back. What a nice little envelope for you. <laughs> Yeah, who knows? Looks at Cyrus, I know. <laughs> Not that I understood what he was on about for most of his game, but still. Wonderful, then we can see if Mr. S uh, Kogita has any more insights to share with us. So that Azel's fang, a sense of warmth to it. Pokemon of the lakes are strange. They seem to play in your mind somehow. Indeed, yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Komodo has raised a force. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you are not one of them. I don't trust you. <laughs> Sorry. Now, if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Just like a Badoo falls out. <laughs> it's like the most normal level two, you know, early game Badoof. <laughs> Red X times child end up being so messed up. That sells like crystal, there's no time to lose. Got one more material left to find for the red chain, let's go get it. That's the spirit, I'll come watch this historic moment unfold too. Uh, watch, is that really all you do? Remember, once you saw the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. Okay. Why does it say- oh, it was investigate to the table, I thought it was investigate her. It's an antique tea set. Hmm. Okay. Also, um. No, we good. We good. I just had a weird idea. Are my Pokemon healed? Yes. Poor Yzma. <laughs> I am second guessing Yzma inclusion on the team, but. So, where are you headed? Um. Oh, that's where it is. That's cool. It was over here, right? I'm not losing it. It's like that that area. Not that he looks 50 when he's younger than Crystal. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I don't like knowing how old Cyrus is. It's weird. Is this it? Maybe it's not. That's not it. Whoopsies. Hi, don't mind me. I'm not here. Oh wait, it would be in the ice area, you guys were saying earlier, because I remember when Barry went there. Right. Right, and like, there's literally a quest mark. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, I'm just silly. Don't listen to me. Mentalin, enjoy that lurk, girl. Okay, um, I mean, you guys be losing your satchels left, right, and center, so... Oh, is it really at the top of the big map? I didn't- I wasn't even looking. That's silly. There we go. Oh, my, uh, my nose is still getting used to having the new glasses on it, and uh, the nose guards are starting to irritate my face. I zoom out on the whole thing. Yeah, okay, so I saw the first two and I'm like, okay, but the third one doesn't show. I've been to this third one so many times, but like, I didn't really think about it. 
And a nose stud, right? Yeah, no, I'm not into piercings, unfortunately. Too scared. We're being actually able to see. Yeah, random, you don't really wear yours often, do you? But I guess you need it if you're playing on the TV. a bit of a rough landing. <laughs> I'm not polite to ask a lady her age, but you got me curious if you're willing to share. So without everyone else sharing their ages, um, because that's usually what it tends to happen. I am 28. I just turned 28 uh, 10 days ago. And what is Cyrus meant to be again? I can't remember. 27. Gosh, no, he's not. Like, absolutely not. Happy Blade Thursday. Thank you. I had a really, really good one. I got to spend it with you guys. Had a lot of fun on stream. Uh, had some time off after. <laughs> he's 42. He's like, just old. <laughs> Which not saying 42 is old per se, but like, you know. There's no way he's younger. Okay, uh, the last one is right there. Over 10k at those points. I'll take it. Uh, uh, older. <laughs> Ten-year-old get kicked out of the house in the Pokemon world. Maybe life expectancy is half that of real life. Maybe. Here we are, like a cutie. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. Could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Bod mood. <laughs> this, this, this up here. This is just like you know, my last couple days. That's what it's felt like. <laughs> The Kikiri is protected by the Pokemon, uh, Uxie. When Uxie took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. Totally can make cakes simply appear from nowhere. It's quite a handy one to have. Let's go, Crystal. Imagine there may be Pokemon in there protecting the Light's Guardian. Take care. If you don't already know, how old do you think Jesse and James are? I already think I know. So I won't say anything. But, yeah. Now, let's see what's waiting for us. Ooh, hi! A menacing Pokemon stands before you. I know you don't need me to tell you this, Crystal, but I still got to say it. Be careful around that thing. I don't know what type of this thing is, so... Yeah, I, I definitely want to catch this friendo. Hi! We're, we're, we're not good with you. Okay. Who is good with you? What is your typing? Okay. Bite. We like dark. Okay. Uh, that's about all we got. All right. Um, what type is this thing? What is it? I haven't turned to crime yet. 
So I've been saying it. It's people. I'm people. Oh, Blue Hour. I watched it yesterday. I felt a bit late because like everyone watched it night one. Um, I watched it yesterday. I really enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoy it too. I won't say more than that. Hey, Gabby, how are you doing? I got Legends RC yesterday and I've completed 10 hours so far. I'm glad that you're enjoying it so far. What starter did you go with? Normal ghost. Okay. Weird typing. I like how its hair is so big. The animation was just kind of like, you know, screw it. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's perfect. We didn't want to knock you out. Oh, it's cute. I liked all the starters with this game. That's a, like the unfortunate but fortunate thing. I wanted to use them all. Nice. <laughs> First try. You could do it, Crystal. Okay. Let's do a save. This trial you hated? I'm a bit concerned because I mentioned something about problem solving and I'm not good at that. <laughs> at all. Come, I'll test your knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Oh dear. Is it math? It better not be math. Three Alphas, two Stravia, Kirkatuna, Luxio. Very nice. Oh, really, Rebecca? That's fun. How many are there? Oh, heck. Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. What were the Pokemon again? Can you repeat that? <laughs> okay, so combi... Bear with me. Ah, uh, Pepper and Brando. 56 a month reset, tier one and tier two respectively. I'll travel by anything but a fairy across the land searching far and wide. And, bear with. Uh, teach Pokemon to understand the power of the dark side. <laughs> Emethyst <this> cult. <laughs> Combi, I think, has two. Zubat doesn't have any. Unknown. Does it technically have one? Magneton, I don't know. I need to look that up. And Dusclops, I think it only has the one because it's a Cyclops. Uh, so I think that's four. How many? Fa I don't know how many faces Combi has, though. I'm going to look up a Combi. Bear with me. Where's my mouse? I don't know. Mike's just like has two? Oh, no, it has three. Okay, so that's six eyes. Plus one. That's seven. Plus one. That's eight, I think. Um, what's a magneton? I thought the sides didn't have any faces on them. Magneton. Three. Eleven? Did you cheat? Listen, all right, I'm just looking at my resources. It's eleven? Three on Magneton, none on Zubat. One technically on Unknown. So three, four, seven. Wait, 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 what? What did I just? Six, sorry. Six, seven, ten, eleven, I think. Let me look up Dusclops just to make sure. I'm not the only one looking these- yeah, it's only the one. So I think it's 11, right? Am I mathing right? I'm probably not. Don't add them all. Just type what eyes they have. It tells you that. Ready to answer. 
for your answers together as a series of numbers? Oh, wait. Okay, so it wants like this, like six. Heck, what was the order again? Zero for Zubat, one for Unknown, three for Magneton, one for Dusclops, I think? Hopefully I got that order right. <laughs> No, no worries, King Kid. I thought you knew. I thought it was like actually math. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. I legit thought combi only it had honeycombs on its side, but it it had um oh random <laughs> wait. <laughs> um I thought it had the honeycombs on its side. Um, but they didn't have faces on it. I guess it makes sense, but I didn't know that. Ah, uh, that's it. Sorry, that's it. You've completed the trials of the three lakes. Write that down, write that down! <laughs> Let me dodge roll my way out of here. We finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told then to head for the shrouded ruins. Don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let's be on our way. Yeah, it wouldn't be pin number, just be pin. All right, no worries, Rose. I hope the grocery store run goes well. The shrouded or the shrouded ruins. Mists are very good at obscuring things. It's long said to blur boundaries. If we're somehow to bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, <laughs> that being said, Bob, uh, not currently with the eleven month race of almost a year. Thank you so very much. How's your day going? Welcome on in. <clears throat> Seems I've made it in time. Trying to only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine that it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Wow, oh, the Pokemon the lakes. At least they're doing it willingly this time. <laughs> the red chain. I'm gonna make it a hula hoop. Also, thank you guys so much for the hype train, by the way. Loki, I just looked up and saw that. I do appreciate it. Thank you. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all the generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. Ring toss. <laughs> you succeeded once again, Crystal. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What's he thinking? If he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Oh, really, Rebecca? That's interesting. Well, he doesn't yet know that our crystal has managed to get the red chain now, does he? Right, we've got to let him know that it'll be all right now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason then and call off this foolhardy plan of his. Do I get to go back to the town? Can I change my outfit, please? Oop. 
Huh? Wait, Crystal, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. Wait one second. I'll just go get the captain and the professor, or let the captain and the professor know that you're back. Wait, maybe it's been a while. I'm assuming I can't. Oh, my dear Crystal. Professor, I know you've been worried about Crystal, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying. Don't mock your elders if you please, Ray. Besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over your friend? You didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him, Crystal. Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join the survey... Join her in the Survey Corps office. Seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Kamado's gone. Uh, he's not here? Well, he set up for Matt Coronet with Security Corps in, tor in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the Security Corps folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. I sleep. It's only been half an hour. <laughs> Kamado can suck a toe. He annoys me. Well, you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Uh, thanks to you. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abravash of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you're here again because you've managed to learn something of use? What if he likes that? Oh no. Go on. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The Security Corps has been scouting the area near the Space Time Rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. Thank you guys so much for that hype train once again. I do appreciate it. Uh, the commander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it uh, still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Crystal's help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Crystal, take the red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You're officially reinstated at your former rank. There we go. Yeah, I have all of them too. <laughs> Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together. We're members of the Survey Corps. We members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. Side quest? <laughs> Actually, okay, question. How much more main story would you guys say we have? I'm, j I'm gonna go change my outfit while we talk about this. How much more main story do you guys think we got going on around here? Has some new styles and stuff. So uh, please feel free to have a look. Okay, I'm just kind of looking for something that's not what I've already worn. <laughs> you are before credits, but they're very misleading. It's definitely not over then. Yeah, no, I realize that uh, there's going to be a lot of post game to this. That's why I'm kind of wondering if I should leave the side quest for now and just do everything later. Hey, Trimpo, what are you up to today? I've been browsing loads of Japanese websites looking for Kirby merchandise. We have been progressing the story of Arceus. Uh, it's been pretty interesting today. Oh, wait, the Typhlosion one's kind of interesting looking. 
the quest I'm on, but I got my ass beat, so I've been on this quest for many hours. Uh oh. Well, now I'm really scared. That's kind of cute. Maybe something like that instead. I would wait with the side quest too. Might be good to wait with the side quest until after credits, but you can still talk to Lucario. Okay. Once those like take it with a grain of salt, I'm just a big time baby. You are not. <laughs> I also kind of like that one. So many different designs now. I'm really happy about that. Um, do we got anything else though? Okay, these are just the everyday components. No, these are all very much stuff we've already seen. Um, those and let's see I'm almost tempted to wear like the the official uniform again okay felt like I got through it once I think my Pokemon type has got me through it easier than it should be I'm really concerned now if you guys are having trouble <laughs> See, I wish that there wasn't just like that little bit of skin showing there. That kind of bugs me. One, but I didn't have, I have one Pokemon left. So I bought blue one of those. Where are the other ones? Do we got like black? Yeah, that's close enough. I have trouble with everything. Uh, you were saying. Snow boots, the sandals. Okay. So now I'm thinking I should- I don't really like the split toe, it, it kind of weirds me out, but then again I'm not going to see it from the back. So. Oh, no worries, it's okay. Oh, could I not from there? That makes sense. Um, oh, the monocle. <laughs> Is that all they got? Oh no, then they have these. Uh, and, ooh, snow goggles. Those are actually kind of cool. Um, but I think we're good. Just something a little bit different. There you are, Crystal. Irida's already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? Commander's already at Mount Coronet. He's already started the mountain. He must be more reckless than that dignified manner of his lets on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. All right, then. Guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Crystal. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a wasting. See you there. I was the reckless one. I can eventually- can I eventually get the galaxy or, um, not galaxy, sorry, diamond or pearl outfits? Because I kind of want their outfits. 
Uh, you got run out of the village, right? But you still try to find a way to help us all? That's right, Crystal worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. To your right, and a fine job she did too. Survey Corps will always is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village. As well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks, here take this. Mass survive, thank you. I might actually need those. You can unlock them later. Okay, good. I want them. <laughs> your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. Oh, I... Mm, I was gonna change again. I actually kind of wanted to wear the original galaxy outfit. <laughs> Heck. <sighs> it's fine. I've made my bed all line. I hate that person. That person right up there? Screw you. I don't even remember your name, but I don't like you. I've heard the latest. You've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? So what's congratulations are in order here. Some max potions for me to celebrate. Belly, that was them? Don't like them. It's like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Irida have headed up to the peak as well. Oh, I know where we're going now. My good friend Crystal, I wish you great fortune in battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. Seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations from for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here for moral support, at least. I hate you. Not you. <laughs> I hate that person so much. Okay. Can I? I can't change my outfit from here, can I? It seems a waste to go back, so. Um, let's take a look here. I know I saw it in here somewhere. Sorry. Oh wait, that's box one. Here we go. Um, I don't know why these are in here and not in my normal inventory, but they are. I don't know why I have an upgrade. <laughs> I have a lot going on. Uh, and then we got potions and stuff. Less friendly towards you. Okay, that sounds not so fun. Um, and the other thing I want to do is we haven't fully done Yzma. That sounds bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's fun. Oh, that one's already done. I realized when Yzma kept getting knocked out, I was like, I don't think Yzma's, like, you know, leveled quite like the others. <laughs> I just leveled it up level-wise. And I have lots of this, so... Oh, apparently you guys haven't been finished yet either. Actually, you know what? I just remembered. I bought the, um... See. I bought the upgrade. From, uh... From the guild. Just before I went in to speak to Kamado. Don't have to do the attack set they don't use. I mean, I just like to see it say incompatible. <laughs> Low key. I have lots. I'm not going to use it on anyone else. 
I've seen the leaf station. I started my third town called Oak World. I've been working on it. I've been watching your Rosa series. I hope that you've been enjoying it. It's uh, almost nostalgic to me now because I was in a very different place in my life when I was uh, uh, recording that. <laughs> but it was a fun series. So I could be wrong, but I think Rebecca's... Oh, even f hasn't finished. Um, I guess we'll just go in order. Um, I think what she's going on about is the fact that some Pokemon use attack, some use special attack, mainly. And like, you know, there's no necessarily no point in upping one of those if they don't use it, actually, but... We do have a lot of HP already. Okay, so that's as good as we can do for right now at least, but it's better than what we had before. Okay, uh, let's save. And really quickly here, you guys, I think before we head on forward, I need to go ahead and take my stretch break here. Get up, stretch, give yourselves a drink, a snack, do what you gotta do. About 10 minutes, I'll play some stream moment videos, I'll play uh, some advertisements as well. And uh, I will. Um, this work, I will be right back. Have a good one, you guys.